Today, let's go ahead and replace one of those asteroids with some other prefab that we've created so that we have something to shoot or at least pick up in game to start adding points. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded some assets here. I went ahead and got the basic loot pack inside. I'm gonna be using the potion. It's nice and bright, we can see it, but there are other things in here we could use. Uh, for now, I just want the potion, just because it's really bright and you can see it really well. But I do want it to be scaled to about the average size of uh, either our ship or an asteroid. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start it up and then we'll just pause it once the game actually starts. Um, yeah, it needs to be a lot bigger. So let me just go ahead, just wanna kinda of take a look here. Uh, flying into that's gonna be hard. So let's grab the potion. What if it was two times the size? Better. I think it's still a little too small though. I think I want a bit bigger. Let's try three times. Yeah. I want it really big because I want it to be easy for the player to hit. Of course, if you want it to be harder, just make it smaller. So three times seems to be the magic number, at least for what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead, stop the game. I'll just do it right here. So three by three by three. And the way I want this to work is after the game starts and the asteroid manager has gone ahead and populated our asteroids, I wanted to go ahead and just pick one at random since we have them stored in a list and just replace it with this prefab. So let's go ahead, we'll jump into our asteroid manager script. Great, so right up here we have the asteroid prefab. I'm gonna go ahead and create another one. Uh, this is just be a game object though. Serialized field, game object, and I'm just gonna say, I don't know, pick up prefab. Because it's the prefab we need to pick up. Great, I'll save this off and I wanna assign that right away. So I'll select my asteroid manager. It's already exposed. So let's go ahead, we'll just drop that in right away. Save my scene and jump back into my code. So I'm gonna create a new method for this. We got one where we destroy and place the asteroids. Uh, we're instantiating the asteroid. So what I'm gonna do is actually just copy the instantiation of the asteroid, because this is pretty much exactly what we want. Except we're gonna use the prefab. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I need to pass in X, Y, Z. Yeah, because I'm gonna be getting the other asteroid. Well, let's think how we exactly want this to do, how this to go. So we're gonna go ahead, tell it to place all of the asteroids. It'll do that. Then after it's placed all of the asteroids, I wanna call this method where we replace one asteroid. So we're not going to need this. And I'm gonna say place pickup. I can get the position from that list we have at the top of our asteroids right here. So all I really want is the transform. So I'm gonna say transform, well, let's call it R&D, because I am just grabbing a random asteroid. It's equal to random dot range, and it's going between zero and asteroid dot count. So that's gonna pick one random asteroid in our list. And now I gotta decide if I wanna instantiate first or destroy. Actually, let's go ahead and instantiate first. And in this case, I'm not sure if I actually need to go ahead and do anything with it after. I'm not gonna bother parenting it, and I don't need to add it to a list. So I don't actually think I need to store the reference. So I'll go ahead, I'll instantiate. We want the pickup, prefab. We wanna go ahead and set it up on a new location. And we gotta store it as asteroids, right? Yeah, the store it as type asteroid. So asteroid, the one we want dot transform, dot position, dot X, and actually, I don't need to do X, Y, Z, I can just go ahead and assign it with just the actual full transform position. Then also a quaternion dot identity for the rotation. Uh, I don't know if I want it to rotate, I might just go ahead and throw a rotate script on it. Um, see, that's, that's it actually, that's all we have to do. I'm not gonna add it to a list. Uh, after we're done that, we need to go ahead and destroy that asteroid. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to call this self-destruct. I'm just going to outright destroy it. So destroy, and the game object we want to destroy is asteroid CNT. Sorry, not CNT, R&D. Then let's also make sure that we remove that one as well. And I'm going to use the remove at, so we can just pass in the index. Great. So let's go ahead, make sure we have no errors. And we actually need to call this somewhere too. So place pickup, I'm gonna go ahead after we clear. I'll just throw it right in here. Jump back into Unity. 
And lots of errors. All right, let's go ahead. We'll figure out what I did wrong. Uh, so we can't convert. Okay, so we'll go ahead. We'll say ha, int. I was originally going to store the transform and then put it in, but uh, I needed the random number first. That's fine. We'll go ahead. We'll save that off. Jump back in. That'll get rid of a few of them. Or all of them. Great. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll destroy this. We don't need this in the scene anymore. Save the scene. Start it up. And let's zoom out here. Hit play. Hit pause. And there is a potion. So here's where the potion got put. Cool. Uh, I actually want to start it over and see if I can actually see where it's getting put. We'll go ahead, hit play. And I actually seen it pop in there. So that's actually pretty cool. It's going to be a different spot each time. Uh, of course, we don't know where it is. We've actually got to go ahead and look for it. Crap. It's, this is still super hard. I got I to gotta really turn down how much they jiggle me. Uh, but there we go. We got something placed. Uh, I am going to make it bigger because it is just so hard to hit. And again, let's just scale up according to the asteroids around them. So we'll go ahead. We'll just jump into the potion. Uh, it is a three by three by three. Um, did it not destroy that asteroid? Um, hmm. We could go ahead and name them. It should not be on top of one. Let's take a look here. Go ahead, shrink this down. Potion. Hmm. Let's go ahead, jump into our code. Let's make sure it's destroying this right. So when we place them, instantiate. Let's also go ahead and name it. So up here, I'm just going to say, see, well, int C and T is equal to zero. And this isn't going to work. That's fine. We can use X, Y, and Z. So temp dot access the name right here. Yeah. Is equal to asteroid. Now I do X, Y, Z. And we need a little bit of fix up here. There we go. So we'll name it. Then we'll add it. Then we we'll go to place. I'm going to throw a quick debug here. And I just want to say destroying which one. Right. So we'll go ahead. We'll jump back into Unity. Check this out. Make sure there's no errors. Let's hit play. Go destroying asteroid 3, 4. Scrub potion. Zoom in. It's always the same one underneath it. Um, I'm not destroying the game object, am I? I'm just destroying the component. Yes. Ah, there we go. Uh, the way we have it set up, we're just destroying the asteroid component because that's what's stored there. We need the actual game objects. We want to destroy everything. There we go. Let's go try this one out. Go ahead, hit play, pause, potion, zoom, and there we go. So there should be no 3 0. Four. Asteroid Manager 304. There we are, and it's missing. Great, we got that done. Um, I do want to add some rotation to my pickup. Uh, I'm just wondering if I actually made a rotate script separate, or did I just throw out an asteroid? Looks like I just threw it an asteroid. If we went ahead and took a look at asteroid. The actual rotation, we could just go ahead and take that out. Since we have a few different things that rotate, and just go ahead and call the rotate. But I'll just go ahead and make a separate script for it. We'll create C sharp script and we'll just say pick up. I'll go ahead, we'll open that up. And we're already running a little late in this one, but I do want to comment in exactly what we want to do in the next video. So we want it to uh, rotate the pickup. I want an event so that when I do have a pickup, we go ahead and spawn another one. So. Create an event to spawn a new pickup when this, man, fingers won't go today, is picked up. Add to score when this is shot or crashed into. 
And I think that's all this script is really going to need to do. Rotate us. Go ahead, pick us up when we get shot or the player crashes into us and to make sure they're out of score. Great. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and we'll add that in the next video. And uh, I guess I'll see you there. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>